was the current host of Wheel of Fortune for over 40 years. Just about a couple of weeks ago, he did last show, which probably had over a million people watching, in which he had a few words to say. At the end. Well, the time has come to say goodbye. I have a few thanks and acknowledgments before I go. And I want to start with all of you watching out there. It's been an incredible privilege to be invited into millions of homes, night after night, year after year, decade after decade. And I've always felt that the privilege came with a responsibility to keep this daily half hour a safe place for family fun. No social issues, no politics, nothing embarrassing, I hope. Just a game. But gradually it became more than that. A place where kids learn their letters, where people from other countries hone their English skills, where families came together along with friends and neighbors and entire generations. What an honor to play even a small part in all that. Thank you for allowing me into your lives. Every time we taped a show, I met three new people from all parts of this wonderful country and the world who were kind and considerate, who rooted for each other, who took great pride in talking about their family, their hometown, their, their friends, their schools, their jobs, even their pets. In the end, they were the real stars of the show. I genuinely like these people, and I'll miss the chance to meet more of them. To our staff and crew, particularly the veterans with whom I've shared the stage for five years, 10 years, 20, 30, and more, it's been a joy to work with you. Your skills and dedication and good humor made this a place I always wanted to be. Everyone pulled together and cared about each other and about this show. It worked because you made it work. It, it looked great because you made it look great. And you made my job so much easier. And I want you to know that your efforts never went unnoticed by me nor unappreciated. I'll miss you guys. The best part of the last couple of years has been the chance to work with my daughter Maggie, uh, to watch her grow in her role and as a person. She interviewed me recently, and I talked about my life and, and the show. I hope you've seen some of it online. I really enjoyed doing it. I have to admit, it's a little weird to be interviewed by your own daughter, uh, but she did a great job. Maggie is liked around here because she's talented and smart and funny, but she's loved around here because she's kind and caring and humble. Leslie and I are blessed to have two such wonderful kids. There's Maggie, of course, and her fabulous brother Patrick and his new family, as for Leslie, she's been my wife and life partner for 35 years. I love her for who she is and, and what we are as a team. Finally, to my professional other half, dear Vanna, like me, she takes the show very seriously, but not herself. I shudder to think what these 40 plus years might have been like had they brought someone in all full of themselves playing the prima donna role. Vanna is as sweet and unassuming as she seems. We've seen a lot of changes in each other's lives over the years, but we've always been there for each other. I want to thank her for her lovely goodbye on yesterday's show. And while I very much miss working with her, I take solace in the fact that we live about five miles apart, so we'll see plenty of each other. But I will miss our nightly closes and her laughter and her good nature. She's a very special woman. And I know you're all pleased to know that she'll be back next season. And by the way, you'll still see plenty of me for the next few months. That's right, summer reruns. So the jokes will be the same, but I'd appreciate it if you laugh again anyway. That's it. Thank you all so very much. And goodbye. For someone who has hosted Wheel of Fortune for 41 years, I just want to say thank you, Pat Sejak. Because without you, Wheel of Fortune wouldn't be where it is today. You've helped make Wheel of Fortune more enjoyable, 
and fun. And I just couldn't be more grateful than I am now to have watched you since the early 2000s. Because that's when I started watching Leo Fortu. Right around 2001, when I was little, I started watching Leo Fortu. And truth be told, I wasn't always an active viewer of Leo Fortu. But I occasionally watched a show here and there sometimes. Especially right around 2012, which was when I started to occasionally watch Wheel of Fortune again. And all those years later, I still occasionally watch Wheel of Fortune. But that recently changed when I started watching you for the entirety of a whole month. And when I heard that Wheel of Fortune was going to show all of Pat's memories all month long, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to watch Wheel of Fortune. And now, here we are. I'm gonna miss seeing Pat C. Jack with Anna White after all of these years. Because they were a team together. I'll definitely miss the chemistry and the laughs they have together. But I'll most definitely miss your charm, your winningness, and your dedication to the show. Thank you for entertaining me. Thank you for your jokes and the laughs. Thank you for being the longest host of Wheel of Fortune, and thank you for being wholesome. Thank you for everything, Patsy Jack. Enjoy retirement.